So now let's get our character set up. So this uh, is going to need us. Let's see. Let's go click select workspace then go and select avatar at the top rig builder. Select rig builder. I'm just going to do a block rig. Rename this to starter character. Whenever you make a starter character, you need to drag it into the starter player folder and be sure it's named exactly like this. Uh, starter character with a capital S and a capital C. So we should just be a naked dude running around right now. Let's see. Yeah, it worked, but uh, we can't move. And the reason for that is because we've got to select the humanoid root part and we need to unanchor it. And yeah, so that works. So now we can put whatever clothes we want on him. Um, I want to drag him back into the workspace so we can see him. Uh, open them back up. We need to add a shirt. It's named clothing. I'm going to name it shirt. And then we need to add some pants. It's going to name it clothing as well. We're going to name it pants. So select our shirt. Let's go find a shirt. I believe I've already got one pulled up. It's going to uh, give you a number right here. You just need to copy that. Come back to Roblox select your shirt and in the shirt template field you just need to paste that in there press enter and there it is so we need to do just the same thing for pants so let's go find some some pants uh, go back to our avatar shop uh, clothing classic pants and then now just search for uh, i'm just gonna search soccer let's get the messy shorts the messy black shorts since he just won the World Cup. That was awesome, by the way. I think I'm going to just copy this number. Go back to Roblox. Select our pants. Go to pants template. Paste it in. Press enter. And there we go. We got our shorts. So what we are going to need uh, for our game is we need to create some parts and, and weld them to our player. And these parts are going to come into use later. So we're going to make a part for the ball position. So the ball position is, is where the ball is going to be set whenever a player gains possession of the ball. So let's select our move tool, move it up, uh, move our player down. Get our ball position. Move it out to, I don't know. First, let's, let's, I'm all over the place right now. Let's change it to a, a ball. Scale it down, hold shift whenever you scale it and it'll scale it proportionately. Uh, we're also gonna make it red so we can see it. And we want this in the middle of the character. And about out to right there. I don't know. We can always tweak this later. Bring it up. I'd rather bring it, have it too high and have the ball sitting off the ground than too low and have the ball sitting in the ground. So let's put it about, I don't know, right there. So we've got our ball position made. Uh, we need to make sure it is massless. So make sure massless is checked and it's not anchored. And we want can collide to be false and can touch can touch to be false uh, so we also need to add a weld constraint to the ball position and in our weld constraint for part zero select ball position part one i select humanoid root part and so we've got our ball position made whenever we run around that ball position should not move let's let's test that first make sure that it's working Drag our starter character back to our starter player folder. Press play. So there's our ball position. So what's going to happen is whenever we touch this ball, that ball is going to snap to this ball position. Uh, when we when we set that up, we're not going to do that yet. We need a possession trigger. We need a possession trigger. So we we need something kind of like our goal. We created a trigger for whenever the ball touches it. Uh, goal scored. Well, now we're creating a trigger that's going to be on our character. Whenever the ball touches the trigger is when we're going to gain possession. 
So we duplicated our ball position, named it possession trigger. Let's change the shape of it to be a square or a block, I mean. And we are gonna scale it up. That looks pretty good. Um, we are gonna set the transparency. We're not gonna set it to zero yet. Like, so I wanna see this stuff for debugging and make sure everything's working properly. So yeah, we got our possession trigger made. Uh, we do want can touch to be true. And on our well constraint, let's see, we already got possession trigger and then humanoid root part. I don't know if you've got to do that. It looks like that was already set up correctly. Um, but yeah, so now, now this next part, it's not going to make sense, but it will later on, uh, whenever we get to shooting. So shot aim, uh, we duplicated ball position, name it shot aim, leave it exactly where it is. I'm, um, I'm going to make sure that the well constraint is set up properly. So I'm just going to do it again. So we got our shot aim. Now we need to duplicate this and we need to name it shot start <clears throat> so basically just to give you an overview of how work how shooting is going to work is we have got our shot aim right whenever we hold down the shoot button this is going to start going out like this away from our character uh whenever we let go of shoot it's going to take it's going to take the ball and it's going to launch it from the ball positions point to our shot aims point so again may not make sense right now it's fine uh we it will later on when we get to it but we do need this stuff so be sure to do it name it how i'm naming it uh with the capital letters capital s and a capital a just just name it exactly how i'm naming this stuff and so we've got our shot aim uh now we need our shot start the shot start is actually going to be way out in front of the character around right here it doesn't have to be perfect and we can always tweak it later uh, so it's actually going to start out here as soon as you start shooting it's going to start here and then go out that way just want to get these parts created let's make sure the weld constraint is set up correctly shot start shot we got our shot aim got ball position and possession trigger i believe that's it think that's all we need if not we can come back and add it whenever we need it 